obviously last week uh, you guys didn't really need them to, but throughout the year special teams has been a huge boost in scoring points, helping you guys out. Just as a quarterback, how much does that, you know, how much of a burden does that take off of you when you see special teams doing those things? Yeah, you know, for um, the offense and defense both, you know, when special teams are making big plays, especially scoring points um, like our special teams do and flipping the field, um, you know, it's, it's big for both sides of the ball. Uh, Spencer, obviously you played in rivalry games before. Even here you've had a few SEC rivalry games. Uh, going into this Clemson week, has there been anything that – maybe any stories that Shane Beamer or anyone else has told you about and, you know, kind of what are some of your expectations heading into Saturday? Um, I know it's going to be a crazy environment, you know, down there at Clemson. Um, um, you know, I'm just looking forward to the opportunity. We're looking forward to the opportunity. You know, we coming off a good game, you know, trying to have a great week of practice and just – Focus on us. You know, it's all about us, and that's what we're focused on right now. Spencer, how do you guys come down from the kind of high you had on Saturday? Like, what was it like coming back into the building on Sunday and trying to reset after that? Yeah, you know, you definitely want to celebrate, you know, those wins and be happy about them. But, um, you know, when Monday comes around, when Tuesday comes around, when we start practice, um, we, we refocus in on the team we got this week. And... Really, we just, like I said, we focused on ourselves and what we need to get better at because we did a lot of good things, but we could have been better in some areas. Um, so, yeah, that's what we're doing this week. What could you possibly improve offensively despite 600 yards, 63 points, and scoring on 9 of 11 drafts? I don't know. I kind of just said that, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Not punt once. Yeah. You know, hey, that's improvement. You know, we could go 10 for 10. You know, that'd be amazing. But, no, nah, just every area, you yeah. know, take it to another level. And I guess with that, it's it might not be wise to expect 600 yards, 63 points week in and week out. But yeah. how how replicable is that kind of offensive execution and consistency from last week going to this week? Yeah, you know, I think we had a great plan last week. I think we called a good game. Um, everybody was on the same page, player, coaches wise. It was it was great. Um, you know, we need that same thing this week. So that's what we're focused on right now in practice. We had a great day of practice today, and uh, you know, going to put more together on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday before for the game Saturday. Spencer, I guess you and uh, DJ were kind of rising prep guys mm -hmm. out west uh, at the same time. Do you know him a little bit, and what do you think of him? Yeah, you know, I've been been to camps with him. You know, he's a big time guy coming out of high school as well. Um, you know, I think he's a good player. You know, a lot of people, you know, he went through kind of what I went through at OU, I guess. But um, no, he's a, he's a great guy. You know, he comes from a good family. He's a good dude. His younger brother's a good guy too. Um, you know, he's been through a lot, a lot of it, unfair treatment. Um, you know, he's a great player and he does a lot of good stuff for him. So, you know, we're definitely going to have to be focused on him this week, trying to stop him. And, uh, yeah, but, you know, best luck to him. That's my guy. You're talking about the rivalry. Just have you gotten a feel for how much this area really hates that team up there? And have your, your teammates kind of instilled that hatred in you too? Um, you know, I just – I know it's a big rivalry, but, you know, I'm kind of new to it. But I know it's a serious, serious rivalry. Like I asked Coach Beamer, you know, what's bigger, OU Texas or this in South Carolina? And, you know – he had his opinions on it, and you know everybody you know wants this game. So, um, you know this is something we all want to win. We want to go in there and play at a high level. And uh, but yeah, I don't I don't hate anybody. You know. Hey Spencer, sorry for a, a similar question, but you know obviously fans are extremely excited after Saturday night. Um, just wondering, you know. A lot of people are also like, where in the heck did this come from? Um, can you kind of explain what the differences were Saturday night as opposed to, you know, some of the weeks that you guys struggled on offense? Good question. Um, you know, I think, you know, our personnel groups, we lowered them. We didn't have as many guys subbing in and out the game. We played fast. Uh, we didn't have to look over the sideline a lot. Um, you know, we called plays and trusted it. Um, it was just simple stuff. We were repping out throughout the week. Everybody knew it. And uh, we were all on the same page, just rolling, rolling, and rolling. And um, yeah, but yeah, it was it was it was fun. It was fun. Hey Spencer, kind of following up with that, I know after the game Saturday, you said you 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 thought or you had a feeling two days before the game mm -hmm. that that it was going to be a good night. Has that feeling kind of carried over to the beginning of this week, and you feel like, hey, it's going to happen again? On Saturday? Well, I'm not going to, you know, put anything out there of what's going to happen. But, um, you know, we always have a great feeling. Like last week I said, I just had a feeling, you know. And who knows, tomorrow I might have a feeling or Thursday I might have a feeling, you know. So hopefully, hopefully it happens again. That, that's, that's our mindset. We're trying to make it happen again. 
Spencer, around the building, locker room, weight room, wherever you guys go, are there any Clemson signs, you know, beat the Tigers or anything like that? Mm -mm. Nowhere. It's all about us. What stands out to you about Clemson's defense? Their D-line, um, you know, their front seven is very good. Um, big, physical, you know, SEC type defense in the in the ACC. So we're going to have to handle them up front. Um, we yeah, got a lot of, lot of great players up front, you know, with Murphy and – Brise and and a lot of those guys, so we'll 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 do our best to handle them. Spencer, as we get to the end of the year now, have you thought about what's next for you and your your future? Do you know whether you'll be back here next year? Um, you know, my focus right now is just finishing out this last game or two, and uh, then we'll go from there. Hey Spencer, I know you touched on it a little bit post game, but you said this offense field or felt unstoppable on Saturday. Kind of talk me through, like, what that feels like and how do you carry that into a, a week like Clemson? Yeah, just, you know, having confidence. Um, you know, I feel like today was one of our best practices because all of our confidence is on, at a high level right now. And, you know, that's not going to win us the game, but it's definitely going to help us, you know. It's going to help us prepare throughout the week at, uh, at a high level. Um, and then, obviously, on Saturday with that confidence, you just in yourself and your teammates, you know, you just want to play harder for each other. Hey, Spencer, can you kind of elaborate on how uh, well and how much better your offensive line played um, against Tennessee? Yeah, that, you know, I, I think that's – I was going to say that to his question as well. You know, that was one of the biggest factors. We protected really well up front. Um, you know, the, the guys gave me time to throw it and, and get balls down the field to our receivers to make explosive plays. They blocked for running backs on key runs. I mean, they did a hell of a job. And, uh, you know, th that kind of went unnoticed in the game uh, from what I've seen. But they – they were like MVPs of the game. They gave us all day to throw back there. I think we only had one sack, and uh, who knows? I could have probably got out of there, but yeah, they, they did a they did a hell of a job. Spencer, I know you're going to make decisions on futures after after the season, but I guess when you looked at this season, what were maybe some of those things that you wanted to improve on and and looking toward maybe next level? What are some of those things, and how do you feel like you've kind of accomplished those at least through you know what I guess eleven games mm -hmm. now? I uh, really just you know not not back down from competition. You know. Could have went to the Pac-12 or somewhere like you know, that. You know, there's defenses here that get you better as a player. I um, wanted to come here and you know win a lot of big games, which we have been doing, and we still got games to finish out. So, you know, uh, wanted to improve all areas, but really just help this program. And I, I feel like you know, you know, we, we've done a good job, and we got we got to finish out even stronger. So we're we're still going. That's the focus. Laser focus. Got a favorite throw you made last Saturday? Um. Probably rolling out to the left in the third quarter and throwing it to Juice and like triple coverage right on the dime. That was and nice. then kind of to that point, I was going to ask, uh, you, you came in as a transfer, Juice came in as a transfer. How has your connection kind of grown from maybe the starter when you both got here in the spring to now through 11 games and he had his biggest game last week? Yeah, you know, just building that trust in preseason camps um, and then obviously throughout these 10, 11 games, um, you know, he's – I want to say he's definitely one of the best receivers in the SEC, one of the best receivers in the country. And, um, you know, he shows – he comes to work every day, grinds. His confidence is at a high level, so I throw him the ball, and he makes plays. Spencer, who was the coolest guy or person that reached out to you over the last couple of days? Um, T.O. texted me today. Um, who else texted me? Archie Manning. Okay. Um, yeah. Bunch of people. I mean, I can't even I, – I could look right now and probably tell you 20 of them, but – yeah. A lot of people. And I guess you guys were in a similar situation maybe a couple of weeks ago coming off beating A&M. You guys are ranked. Had a spotlight on you. Spotlight, obviously, there this week. How do you – what did this team learn about going through something like that, and how do you apply it maybe to this week when you are getting a lot of national praise and national attention? Yeah, you know, you know treat it the same. Um, you know, you, you hear the bad stuff, you hear the good stuff, you got to still do the same stuff and, and, and still improve and still focus on your craft and what, you, what your team goals are. So – um, you know, the good stuff can get you worse than the bad stuff sometimes. If you hear all the praise, you might get comfortable. So, like Coach Beamer says, um, what does he say? Don't rest on comfort. Like, don't be okay with comfort. So, that's, that's what we're doing. Spencer, have you allowed yourself to think that, I don't know, 30, 40 years, people here at South Carolina are going to talk about the Rattler game and how well you guys played and how big a win this is, that you'll be – part of this program forever and ever and ever. Yeah, you know, it's definitely a blessing. You know, that's something I want to do when I came here was make leave a mark. And, uh, 
you know, like I said, you know, as a team, we still got big games ahead of us, especially with this one coming up this Saturday. So we got – that was just like a step, like I said, after the game. That was a step to what we want to um, finish out like. But, yeah, no, it's definitely a blessing to leave a mark like that at, at this university. Speaking of that big game, I'm curious, when you have a game two days later, are you able to still feast on, on Thanksgiving? And is there anything, any food item in particular you're, you're looking forward to? Oh, yeah, no, we're definitely going to eat. My family's coming down um, on Wednesday. And so we'll – I actually got to order that food today um, and get the pies and everything. If you guys have any good, like, pie places out here, like, let me know after this. So I'll get a few pies. But, you know, no turkey, ham, stuffing, stuff like that. Nothing crazy, but I'm definitely going to eat good. Definitely going to eat good. Spencer, this is a multi-part baseball question. Did you play baseball? At what point did you stop? Did you pitch? Were you ever clocked as, as how hard you could throw a baseball? Yeah, I played baseball all the way up to high school. You know, I was a very good baseball player. Loved, loved playing baseball. Um, I played shortstop, pitched a little bit, but shortstop was my best position. Spencer, I think you and you spent some time together, I think, in the spring maybe did he come down to phoenix i yep. think right I, I guess, uh, summertime summertime yeah, yeah. I, I guess what was that kind of like and i guess looking back on having that time with him uh then to now i guess what's it kind of been like seeing y'all's progression together over that time yeah um you know we, we were pretty tight back then but you know just having him come out there to my my city and train with my people uh you know my um trainer and my quarterback coach you know just kind of getting out there and just just working, you know, it's just more work on top of everything we were doing in the summer and that made our chemistry even closer. So, you know, I definitely trust him um, just like I trust all these other guys, but he's he's a special dude. And then just real quick, how well do you know T.O. or was that totally out of the blue? Um, I did a commercial with him last year um, for this protein company. Um, so, you know, we stay in touch, but yeah, he's a, he's a good dude. Hey, Spencer, back to Thanksgiving a little bit. Um, what, what's the one food you have to have for Thanksgiving or else it, it's just not Thanksgiving? Um, I mean, obviously a good turkey. You need some good, you know, stuffing with – I, li I like the cranberry. Uh, cranberry, um, mac and cheese, green – I mean, you, you can't go wrong with any of it, you know? You need all of it. Also, what are you most thankful for this Thanksgiving? Uh, just my family. Um, you know, the situation I'm in right now. Um, my parents, my sister, you know, my, my loved ones, and obviously, you know, my team and, and, you know, everybody that's just in my circle. So, yeah, just very blessed. Spencer, you guys went for it early on fourth down, I think twice in that first quarter, that first drive. Yeah. When the coaching staff does that and keeps you on the field even after you get backed up, what's that, does that do anything for y'all's confidence and the fact that you're able to go out there and they trust you to do that? And, and how aggressive do you guys maybe plan on being against Clemson? Yeah, no, we love that. You know, Coach Beamer told us, hey, we're not we're not going to be punting the ball like, you know, these other teams have, especially versus Tennessee. So, um, you know, it was kind of like we were a, uh, a down ahead. We were just thinking third down on second down, like or vice versa. I'm trying, to, But we definitely had confidence, you know. We wanted to finish uh, each drive with a touchdown, and I think we converted two fourth downs in that game, you know, one early on in the first drive, which got our momentum going. And then from there on out, we didn't have too many. So, yeah, it definitely calms everybody down and knows you got that down if you got that, you know, distance you want to go for it. Hey, Spencer, how as, as good as you played and as good as you feel after this game, how good does it feel, for, must it feel for Coach Sat, who, you know, obviously is a lightning rod for a lot of criticism when the offense doesn't work? Yeah. No, you know, he called a great game. Um, he was very happy after the game, but – you know, you know him. He's he's ready to get back to work. Um, he's ready to put another game plan together and uh, just lead us this week with what we got to do. And then, you know, hopefully he'll call another game like that. You know, we're all we're all pushing for him, and you know he pushes for us. So we're family. We just we got to finish out strong. Yep. Thank you guys.